Are you ready to get started with Deep Haven on your local machine? Well, I'm Amanda Martin with Deep Haven, and I'm here to show you the easy way to do it. You've probably been to our website and tried our live demo. Well, now it's time for you to actually get started. If you've noticed these commands below the demo, I recommend that you copy the commands and paste them in your terminal. What that does is it pulls our Docker Compose file, it then pulls the containers in that file, and then launches it. Now, in any browser of your choice, you can go to your localhost 10,000 forward slash IDE, and you'll see Deep Haven is up and running. So now let's go over a little bit of the details about what just happened. I'm gonna click on this start with Docker, because let's assume that you don't have Docker working. Well, in our quick start guide, you'll see down below, we have instructions for getting started with Windows. Click to expand that. We have instructions for how to install Docker, which links to the Docker website. We have how to change Docker in the RAMs. We also have a YouTube video about how to do this and really cool things like that with IntelliJ. Recommend you check that out. And then we of course have some troubleshooting guides. So once you have Docker up and running, you can choose the type of deployment you want. You can either stick with Python like me, or you can choose Groovy, which is very similar to Java. We also have containers for our example repo. The example repo is a few CSV files and Parquet files, things like that to get you up and running so you can learn how to work with Deep Haven. So if you don't have any ideas about where to get started, choose the examples. Okay, so I'll show you how that works. It's always good practice for you to make a directory that's gonna have your different Deep Haven deployments. And so down here, you can see we have the make directory command. I'm going to make that directory. And then I'm going to go into that directory. Okay. I'm going to do an ls, and you see I've already pulled this before, um, but I can do an rm, and now you can see there's nothing in it. Now I'm completely empty. Okay. So this time I'm going to want to use the groovy version. I'm going to copy that file and this is just the link to that docker compose file and then i'm going to set my compose file to be that so i'm going to type in compose underscore file equals and there's that url so now my compose file is that groovy container deployment version and then i'm going to curl that file and just like last time i'm going to pull the file and now I'm going to do docker compose up minus D. And this runs it in detached mode. And so that means everything is in the background. Notice there's not a stream of things happening. I come here, reload my local host 10,000 IDE. Give it a minute. Give it another minute. And I'm up and running. It takes a little bit of time to get all the containers up and running. If you need to see some logs, here's the log command. And then I recommend that you do a docker compose down minus V. What this does is it turns down all the containers and then deletes the volumes that you don't need anymore. And that's good practice for getting up and running with Deephaven.